Today I'm going to show you how to do this landscape painting of a beach have four people walking on it and how to put the figures into the landscape painting. I also did an oil painting lessons with this same reference. If you're interested in the oil painting, go to our Enjoying Art Magic channel to see the lessons in oil, compare the differences of oil and watercolor medium. Enjoying Art is an artist community. I would like to welcome you to join us today. Now I'm going to show you how to paint this painting step by step. I'm going to use masking to create those uh, white shapes. This is the masking fluid I'm using. If you want to see all the materials that I'm using in this lessons, take a look at the video description. A small amount, that's okay. Now I'm going to prepare my calligraphy brush to do the masking. There we go. Wet the brush and have the soap all the way get into inside the every single brush here. This way we can protect the brush. Now we're going to start. I'm going to start from very top and take a look. That's the top. I'm just going to draw a very thin line like that. That's good. Take a look at the top over here also have some white line. Start over here. With the calligraphy brush doing the masking, you're almost like uh, you're painting the shape. And I'm gonna have some a very few very small thin line over here like that. I think we already finished. This is very sensitive masking. Before I start the painting, I'm also going to draw the figures with a pencil. So first draw the bigger shape, the whole body, the body will be the bigger shape. Okay, and these two figures are going to closer together. So I'm going to move them a little closer. Like that. And capture the accents of the movement. It's very important. When we look at the figure from distance, all we see is the movement. Okay, that's good. Just draw very lightly. Okay, and this arm over here, I'll try to leave a little light shape of the arm. And as well as the leg over here, a little bit lighter. And now take a look at one more person, one more figure walking over here. I'll first draw the body. You go. And take a look at this one, a little curve, this near a little bit bent, and the other one is a little bit straight. There we go. Like that. They're already good enough. and then have reflection down over here. Okay, that's good. All right, now I'm gonna start painting the sky. Okay, now I'm gonna take a look at, first, first, before I start, I'm gonna clear up a little space over here to make it a little clear. Okay. 
Now first I'm going to show you how to paint the sky with clouds. Okay, some areas I'm going to leave it white, but more areas I'm going to using lifting. Okay, now I'm going to use a little bit winter blue red shade, or you can use the French ultramarine. I'm going to add a little bit winter blue green shade. Now mix this two together very well. I'm going to start from the top over here. Okay, here we go. Take a look. I'm going to leave a little bit light shame the top over here. Okay, that's good. That's right. And the bottom over here, coming up like this, you can see a little bit light shape over there. That's good. Here we go. Now, coming back to the top over here. And then we're going to use a little gray color for the shadow side of the cloud. Here we go. Now I'm going to have a little cloud coming down over here. Here we go. Now I'm gonna. This is will be the sky, the top over here. I'm gonna keep all the way from the left to the right. Leave a little light shape at the top over here too. That's good. Now I'm gonna use a little bit darker uh, blue color and put it at the top. Here we go. Now, have a little bit more of the darker color. I'm going to come back using this uh, flat brush to create some soft transition, soft edges. Okay, over here also a little bit darker too, because that's in between. Okay, that's good. Now why this is still a little wet, I'm going to start doing a little, uh, little gray color at the bottom of the, so just get a little red color, mix it into the blue, and that's good enough. I'm going to have this, okay, leave a little light at the top, and this a little bit softer. Here we go, like that, very nice. Here you go. Now I'm going over here. And the top over there have a little light shape. Keep it there, like that. So see the movement of the cloud. And over here a little bit softer, and the bottom over here. That's good. And now it's coming with very interesting. Now over here have a little bit lighter. So just use the corner of this brush. That's good. Okay, I'm gonna keep a little light shape over here. A little bit sharper is okay. Now, softly, leave a little bit. That's good, like that. And take a look at the top over here. Oh, that's good. I'm gonna soften that at the bottom over here. And apply the color. I also soften this. That's nice. And I have all those color come together. And while we're doing this, I'm also going to have a little gray color at the bottom of this shape. You see, you can use a little larger too. But by using different portion of your brush, you actually can create some very interesting and I have lots of freedom to do something really quick and beautiful. Okay, it looks like a too much uh, sharp shape. So I'm going to have a little bit soft edge over here and try to create some interesting balance 
between harsh shape and soft shape. Okay, that's good. And screen your eye and keep looking to see if that is become interesting enough. Okay, I'm gonna keep just removing the wet and put it back over here and continue doing the lifting. That's just good. Now over here, I'm gonna start lift a little bit and have this color coming in. That's very nice. I'm gonna have this color coming up over here, do a little lifting. There you go. Now we're gonna have some very soft and lighter shape, like that. That's good. Now I'm gonna have here, a little bit lighter here too. That's good. Now I want to have a little bit of light shape over here and break it a little bit. That's good. Keep practicing more and you will understand your tool better and also be able to use it uh, with more flexibility and feeling more free. And see, you don't want to get too much texture, but you don't want it to get it too little because you want something going on. Okay, over here, now I'm gonna, this is almost dry. Now I'm gonna, using this corner, create some small soft shape. Okay, that's good, like that. Here we go, the bottom over here. A little bit softer. I like this light shape. I like that being standing out. I'm gonna I'll leave a little color over here too. Okay, pretty good. And over here can be a little bit higher. That's very good. Now, I would say the sky is finished. Now we're gonna start painting into the beach. Okay, now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna continue using this large brush. I'm gonna have a little red color mixing into this blue color and add a little yellow and we can make the, a little brown gray color that's good like that I'm gonna get a little bit more blue because I see that a little bit too uh, warm so I have a little blue to make it a little bit more gray this is good I'm gonna have a little water make it a little lighter now here we go now I'm gonna paint this area first here we go on the edge over here I'm gonna keep a little light gap all the way to the side. That's good. There you go. Like that. See this? Very good. I'm gonna make some the edge over here a little bit darker, a little bit later. And now I'm gonna start painting into uh, the ocean. I'm gonna starting from the ocean. I'm gonna have a little bit blue winter blue, uh, green shade, and mix it into this gray color. It's very much the color I want. Let's take a look. Yeah, here we go. Just using the tip of the brush, I'm gonna start coming over here. Now I'm gonna stop. That's good. I'm gonna take a look over here, coming down. Here we go. That's good. This can be a little bit higher. Here you go. Like that. Let's take a look. 
I'm going to start add a little red color. Take a look, and the red color with why uh, around the beach over here. I'm going to have this color merge into it. Here we go. Now it'll look a little bit more red. Now this over here. And now I'm going to, at the bottom over here, come back with a little blue color. Okay, here we go. That's good. That has a little bit more. I uh, have a little bit more blue. There we go. Got a little bit red. That's good. If you do what I'm doing, it should be very easy. I'm going to get a little bit yellow as well. That's good. I'm going to have this color even a little bit darker. Okay, a little bit over here. All right, now I'm gonna continue painting in here by very much the same color. I'm gonna take this color. Okay, this I have. And then the front over here, continue with this little gray color. And all the way to the other side. Here we go. Now I'm gonna take a look. Some ch color changes. Here we go. Now I'm gonna have it coming up a little bit over here. I have a little bit more blue color. Look like the color of the sky. Now I'm gonna change my brush. I'm gonna have this a little blue color, a bit more of the blue color. Here we go. Have a little bit red shade blue color as well. I'm gonna make it because the connections of the color, it can make you feel like oh, this is must be wet this beach because it is reflecting the color of the sky. Okay, like that. And including some blue color over here too. Okay, I can also connect that color in here. Here we go, like that. All right, and the front over here, I'm gonna have even a little bit darker. So I'm gonna have a little bit darker color right over here. Here we go. And the front over here. That's very good. Now I'm gonna paint it into the ocean with a little bit greenish, this kind of blue color but not much red. I'm going to get a little bit blue color. A little bit too much. I get a little bit more yellow and also get some red. Get a little bit blue. You can see I always use mainly these three color together. That's good. Now I get a little bit darker. Okay. Take a look at some area over here. A little bit darker. Okay, like that. That's good. Have some nice texture. Like that. Very well. I'm going to have a little color. The changes from here coming into the, the wave. That's good. You don't want to make it all connected. Also over here, have some, yeah, it's a little bit darker, like that. That's as good. And also here, I'm also going to use a little bit darker color over here. And since this is still a little wet, this is perfect. I'm going to have this look like the footprint or something. And that making it a lot more interesting. I'm going to keep it like that. And I'm going to have a little bit over here too, since it's still wet. And I'm going to have some reflection of the uh, figures. Okay, that's good. I'll come back to do a little bit more. 
Now over here too, I'm going to have another figure over here. Yes, very nice. All right, now I'm going to paint it a little bit darker color. Here you go, now I'm going to take a look at, this is darker, but I have a little bit more red because I see that a little bit too much blue and that color should be like this, also a little bit yellow. A little bit red, that's just good. But it's a little bit too dark. I'm gonna have a little bit water. Let's test it. That's just good. I'm gonna take a look at definitely too dark. Get a little bit more water. Here we go. Now I'm gonna have a little bit color on the top over here. Coming from here to the other side. Okay, continue. A little bit green niche. Here, here we go. Like that. That's good. Now get a little bit more water. Also a little bit more green. Here we go. Now now I'm gonna wash my brush. It's definitely too much color. Just use the water. And then coming over here. Here you go. I'm gonna make this a little bit lighter. Just use the brush. Lift it up. That's good. Now the value is very, very important. Always most important in the painting. Here we go. I'm gonna have also this color as some brush on, make it a little bit interesting. Okay, like that. All right, now I'm gonna add some color over here on this side to balance that a little bit. Like that. That's very well in the distance. Have a little gray color. Here we go. Here we go. On the top over here. Like that. That's good. And I'm going to have this color. This almost dry. And I'm going to have a little bit some of the darker shape over here too that's very good now take a look in this area also need to have this a little bit more of this color a little gray color and i'm gonna have this also overlay that a little bit here we go like this that's good very well. And I'm going to, I'm going to soften that a little bit over here by add a little color connect into the shape over here like that. It's not so straight. I'm going to have this also curve a little bit. Okay, that's good. Have this color coming up over here like that that's good now the beach looks very well now the paper already drive I'm gonna come in to remove the masking for it
a little bit darker, small shape. Here we go. Now I'm a little bit smaller shape like that. Some a little bit longer, some a little bit thinner, a little bit thicker. That's good. They're showing maybe the boot footprint. That's nice. Now we're gonna paint it into the figure with a very dark color. I'm gonna get a little bit red, mix it into this mostly blue color. Now here you go. Now I'm gonna take a look at this figure. First paint the body. Let's take a look. First pick the biggest shape. Looking for the shape. Okay, here you go. There's the arm over here. And then the body over here. Here you go, that's good. And then paint this arm. There we go. That's good. That's good. All right, and there's the head over here. That's the shadow. Okay, now I'm gonna use a little bit lighter for the foot. Maybe have a little bit more feeling of the brown. So it's got the yellow and the red with the blue color. It will look more brown. Okay, that's, that's good. Have a little bit more yellow. A little bit more. That's good. Here we go. Now I'm gonna have this coming down the curve a little bit, push it down and be confident. Coming a little bit, that's good. On the other side, maybe a little bit thicker. On the other side, I'm gonna have, okay, a little bit, catch the shadow over here. And the other side, have a little bit lighter. Just take this color. That's good. Yeah. And then thicker. Here we go. That's very good. Successful. And then we're gonna walk into over this two figure. Let's work on this one. And start from the body again. Start from the biggest shape. And the top on the shadow, the top on the light area, and actually a little bit more blue color, bright blue color. Let's first do this first, bigger shape. And then here we go. Now I'm gonna look at the short pants and this one. That's good. Okay. Now I'm gonna have a little bit lighter uh, orange color. I'm gonna have this little orange color. That's good. I'm gonna have it here first. That's good. That's good enough. And on the other side, need to be a little bit darker. Take this color. Here we go. Like that. They're showing that how this figures uh, action. And then this arm. Here we go. Now at the bottom over here, give a little bit darker color. Because this is a little bit more shadow. Now this is good. On the head, I'm going to have 
looks like I have a nice head. Okay, like that. That's good. Now I'm gonna add the or the bright blue color on the top of the shoulder. Here we go. I'm gonna get the Windsor Blue Green Shade. That's very good. Now here we go. Put it right here. Make it brighter. That's nice. I even have it a little bit lighter, so it show a little bit better. Okay, now on this side, I'm gonna have it a little bit darker, especially the top over here. That's good. And the bottom of this foot show a little bit darker. So it's showing that actually this person, the bottom of the foot, like that. Okay, now I'm gonna draw the other one. Um, I'm gonna start with the blue color. Here we go. Now, start up the body. That's good, like that. And the top, the shoulder over here, over here, like that. That's good. I leave the top a little bit lighter. And then at the bottom, and I'm gonna have a little bit darker color. Let it have a little bit merge together. That's okay. Because it's so far away. Okay, like that. And on this side. That's good. Keep a little gap in between and then put use this dark color for the head and you can show that this person actually looking at uh, the, his friend which is on the right side okay now I'm gonna painting the foot so with a little brown color. There we go. Like this. And a little bit this foot over here. Like that. That's good. On the other side, a little bit darker. Let's take a look. Push it down. And then Keep it continue coming down a little bit smaller like that and then I'm gonna put the bottom of the foot on this side a little bit darker as well it's showing that it's kind of like walking okay now I'm gonna uh, make the cast the shadow a little bit stronger here we go like this that's good and for him to catch the shadow over here, this one is much easier. Just looking for the shape of the head over here, and then take a look at the body, and then add the arm. Two arms, well, one over here. Look, observe is important. Observe and then analyze it. Just use the same color, yeah, very much okay. And only the pants, I'm gonna have a little bit lighter. And just a little bit lighter. Here you go. And also this side, a little bit forward. And the other side, a little bit straight. That's good. And here we go. I'm gonna have a little bit darker color. that I have this dark color over here and at the bottom a little bit dark color over here now you can sense it this person is walking yeah by seeing the just the shape okay now I'm going to have 
a little catch the shadow again like this okay now and the bottom over here in the water has some reflection and now this painting is finished